start on their own 21. Give is taken by Holbrook, didn't get much there, met up by a couple of Blackhawks. DJ Brown in there to help bring him down right away. Lost a yard on the play, it'll send it back to their own 20. It'll be second and 11. Seven nothing West Wilkes after the touchdown by Alex Ortiz. Quarterback for this star mount team is Patrick Usher. The wing T formation for the star mount team. This time Usher will keep it and gets a decent gain of about five yards. It'll make it a third and six as they'll spot the ball in the star mount 24. Good decision there by Usher to just keep it, find a little room up the middle. Give yourself a shot, shot here on third down. Again, this is a star mount team that doesn't throw the ball a whole lot. So they don't want to be put in the third and long situations, give themselves an opportunity here to try and pick up something on the ground. Check down will be a third and seven. This time Usher will roll to his right and throw. It's caught for a first down on the far side. The catch made by Brandon Eads. So Brandon Eads comes out of the backfield to make the catch for about eight yards. And a first down for the Rams. Move him up to the 32-yard line. Good rollout by Usher. Good job by Eads coming out of the backfield, out of his little slot position there. And a little soft spot in the defense. Good blocking up front as well so far for the Starmount team. This time, the fake gives the Eves. It's going to be taken up the middle by Usher, and Usher's got himself a first down. Nice job by Usher to sell that fake as they had the man coming in on Brandon Eads in the backfield, and Usher was untouched until he got to the first down marker, so two straight first downs for this Ram offense. Nice job by Usher again. He stuck that ball in there for a long time before he pulled it out and took it up the middle himself. Again, we said the offensive lines are going to be a big part of this ball game, and so far, both offensive lines creating some space for their running backs to get through. Starmount looking to even the score. After giving up a touchdown on the second play from scrimmage, this time it'll be a swing pass to the left. It's caught and not getting much on the play. It was Austin Wilfong. Got a small gain on the play. It'll be a second and eight coming up, a two yard gain. I'm not sure two for two on this drive, though. Haven't been, not a guy that's going to throw it down the field, but you can find guys at the line of scrimmage or five to ten yards down. Usher's very accurate. Usher will fake the give and then go to his left across midfield and gets tackled. Just past the first down marker. He's got himself another first down, it appears. Uh, nice job. Again by Usher on selling the fake. This time, looks like he had faked to Silas Holbrook. He was able to sell it once again to move those chains a third time on this drive. All spotted at the 46-yard line. This time, the give is to Holbrook. He has a small haul up the middle before he's tripped up, shy of the 40-yard line. Spotted at the 43. Game of about three on the play. Gain of five, excuse me. Give him a nice spot. That's the big man fall forward spot is what that is. Nice run straight up the middle there by Holbrook. Did look like he was going to pick up more than three, but then that big body just falling forward. Second down. There's the snap, fakes the handoff, now rolls out to his left, throws, it is caught. And across the 30-yard line, getting tripped up. As Brandon Eads once again. Brandon Eads with a couple of first down catches. And a nice looking drive built up here for the Rams. Their fourth first down of the drive. Another good ball. 15-yard pass, that was a little bit further. And he actually, Usher, had a man wide open in the middle of the field. Keep an eye on that play. If they run it again, they've got a man. It was Jonathan Pineda that was open last time. This time, they give it on the inside handoff, and not much there for Peyton Mullins. 
big hit, Luke Huffman. Big hit to take him down. So second down coming up. And we get a decent game on the play. Uh, three yards will make it a second and seven from the Wilkes, West Wilkes 25 yard line. Usher rolls out to his right, now goes back to his left, decides to run with it, and gets a small gain before being taken down. Leading the way on the tackle, West Wilkes' Jacob Dyer. We get Petty in there as well to help bring him down. Got a three yard gain, so he'll make it third and four. First down make is the 19 yard line, balls on the 23. One for one on third down conversions on this drive so far. Takes the handoff, Usher will take it across and just got enough for the first down. So Usher right now able to gnaw a little yards here and there and just get enough for the first down. Now they're inside the red zone. Just ran right through the defender there going off the right edge. I'd like to have a quarterback who can just put his shoulder down and run over somebody if you need an extra yard or two. First and 10 for the Rams. Ball on the 17, there's the snap to Usher. Takes the handoff, runs to his right. And got a decent gain on first down inside the 15 yard line. Looks like they'll mark him down at the 12. Be the game five. Thirteenth play of the drive coming up here after it took only 51 seconds for Russ Wilkes to get on the board. Now coming up on nearly six and a half minutes. Burned off this first quarter clock. A long sustained drive. Starmount right now doing their tribute to former LSU coach Les Miles as the ball is handed off. And carrying it up the middle towards the end zone. It was Holbrook. And short was Silas Holbrook. A oh, nice run for Silas Holbrook, but he was short of the end zone. And first and goal coming up inside the five. 10 yard chunk there. Go for Holbrook, I call it nine as they spot him a little bit short of the two. First and goal. Coming up from between the two and three yard line. Usher gets the snap, hands off to Eads. Eads cuts to his left, dives across the goal line, touchdown, Starmount. Brandon Eads picks up where he left off last week to cap off a 14 play drive with his fifth touchdown in two games. And they're an extra point away from tying the game with 4.39 to go in this first quarter. 